Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're not riding the R6. Today we're gonna test ride this. This is an FJR 1300 2015 model uh, with a GYTR exhaust. And we're at Moto United in La Habra, California. And we're gonna do some test rides with a Yamaha. So this is gonna be really cool. I've never uh, ridden a touring bike this big. So this is gonna be a really, really fun adventure. Uh, this is a big bike. This is something that you could uh, put some miles on and really enjoy the ride. So let's hop on it. Let's see what it feels like and tell a ride. Oh, so first impressions, this thing feels real good. This is what a lot of police ride, similar to a, um, similar to an ST1300, but Ooh, it sounds great with that with that GYTR exhaust. First impressions, guys. This thing is not small at all. This thing sounds beefy. This thing, right? It sounds beefy. I know, man. So now I know why a lot of police officers ride this bike. This thing, it feels like it's got a lot of power and it feels really comfortable. Now, this has a, a Yamaha racing exhaust on it and it sounds good. It really changes the whole feel of the bike. Now, this bike has a, a two modes on it as well. It has a touring and a sport. Uh, so we're gonna run it in sport for a little while and then I'll tell you how touring feels. This one also has electronic uh, suspension. Uh, I don't know how to change the suspension, but um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So let's give it some power. Ooh, this is a quick bike. Now I know why a lot of police officers choose this. <laughs> oh, and the engine just sounds so good. This bike is so smooth. We're in fourth gear right now. Let's go down to... I believe this is only a five-speed bike. So this is the first uh, time I've ever ridden a big touring bike like this, uh, a 1300, an FJ, uh, or an ST1300. Uh, but this is a cruiser bike, man. But this doesn't feel that big to me. Um, I like the way it feels. I like the control setup. I like the small bar and everything feels uh, very well designed. Now this bike I just noticed only has five gears. Uh, that kind of surprises me, to be honest, because uh, this is 2015 and most bikes should be having six gears, but uh, I believe that the, the first gear is designed, you know, this, this bike was designed for law enforcement uh, and work like that sort. So the, the first gear is much more usable. It's a lot longer. Oh yeah, it's a lot longer of a gear. And I just, you know, pulled up to 60 like it was nothing. You know, the cool thing about this bike is that the gearing is very nice for like moving around parking lots, slow speed maneuvers. The first gear is more usable. And since it's only five gears and has a very long first gear, it makes it easy to stay in first gear and I don't have to go shifting up to second. Now that could be a big advantage in touring or moving around at slow speeds. I like the seat. The seat feels very soft. And I also like that the fairings right here cover my whole entire leg almost. I don't get any wind feel and my leg stays warmer. I love that exhaust. Ooh, sounds crazy. Okay, so I found the settings for the suspension. This is an electronic control suspension. So we got soft, hard, and standard. Um, this, I've been riding with it in hard. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep it in hard and see how that goes. Seems to be nice on the street. Look at that, a more usable first gear. I can stay in first gear longer and not feel like I'm revving up. This guy just switched to second gear. I'm still in first gear. I can plot around here easily. Now, one thing I'm noticing about this bike is it's really cold out here right now, actually. It's probably, you know, dipping into the 40s right now and I'm not wearing a very you know, uh, thick jacket and uh, I'm not getting cold. And it's because this bike is like, the fairings are designed to cover me. My legs and my lower body feel way warm. It feels great. 
I don't feel like I'm, I'm getting cold at all. And the windscreen is blowing the air right over my helmet. I don't feel it pressing on my chest at all. Uh, so this is a really cool bike, uh, a really cool bike to have. I really like it. I mean, I want to say though, for a bike this big, I do want to see it with a sixth gear. But it doesn't feel heavy at all. It feels uh, very light, actually, very maneuverable for a bike this big. Like, look, I can easily downshift to first gear with no problem because, like, the wide, very long first gear. You know, it is kind of intimidating going from a bike as small as I own, like um, a WR250X, which only weighs like sub 300 pounds, and then my R6 was weighs about 400 pounds, when this thing weighs probably close to 600 pounds, uh, it, it, it seems a little intimidating, but it doesn't feel intimidating. It actually feels very light. It's very maneuverable. And I guess that's why, you know, a lot of law enforcement or, or big touring guys get these machines because they do feel very smooth and it cruises at, uh, you know, at uh, six, fifth gear, you know, at 50, 60 miles an hour, this thing cruises real smooth. You know, the suspension on this machine is just really good. Even in the hard setting right now, which is supposed to be hard, it ain't very hard. It's really, really, really soft. I mean, see if I can uh, change it up. I gotta say, when you're in fifth gear at about 50 miles an hour, this thing cruises so freaking smooth and the seat feels great. Um, you know, I do prefer the comfort of the Super Tenere better. Man, I love that bike. But this is a different type of bike. This is straight for road for like long distances and I don't feel any wind on me. I feel like I could eat food right here and nothing would get in my way. I feel like if big bikes are your thing, this is a this is a strong choice. So I've been cruising around on the FJR 1300 for a while, and I really like this bike. I mean, the. Uh, the precision of this bike is really good. I feel like the design might be a little old now. It's only five speed and it feels like it's just been updated a little bit. It doesn't feel like it's a new design. Um, you know, I feel like there are good touring machines out there and this is a good touring machine, but is it better than the Honda ST 1300? Mm, I don't know. That's a tough one. Let's give this big dog some gas. Pretty sweet. This thing pulls pretty good. It's geared very long though. It's not a very aggressive pull. It's a very smooth pull. It's like an overtaking on the highway pull. It's not a, oh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go hoon, watch. See, it's not a, it's not a, a crazy overtake pull. You know, I've noticed as I drive this bike as well, it has this eco mode. Now the eco mode I've noticed on a lot of new other Yamahas like the FJ09 and the FZ09. And when I'm not on the gas a lot and I'm just putting around, the eco mode is on. So I know I'm saving gas and, and then when I want to get on it, it just goes away. So um, I like how the computer knows when I want to ride hard and, and when I want to save gas. Uh, so, you know, final thoughts on the FJR 1300. I like this one. This is a high-end model. This has electric suspension. Uh, it's got a lot of good stuff, a lot of accessories on it, bags, luggage. It's a well-designed bike. I feel it needs a redesign, a 2015 uh, or 2016 now update because it needs a, it needs a six gear and uh, it could use a little bit more goodies. Uh, to compete with uh, the, the ST1300 or a Multistrada. Uh, Multistrada is a great machine and uh, you know this is great as a great capable touring machine but it could use a little bit more update but I'm 
I'm kind of digging it. It feels great machine. And I hope you guys like this video. If you do, go ahead and give that thing a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Check out all the other videos I got on my channel, uh, doing more test rides and other cool adventures. So click that subscribe button and check out everything I got. And hopefully we'll see you on the next ride, guys. Thank you very much. See you next time.